Hey guys, RaceCarboy93 here with you again for another diecast review. This time we're reviewing Denny Hamlin's number 11 FedEx Express 2017 Toyota Camry that he drives in the Monster Energy, the Monster Energy Cup Series. So let's look at the box. Just standard box action, 25 years right there, NASCAR sticker warning. You could choke on this car, Denny Hamlin, Joe Gibbs Racing, 4 and up. A little barcode paid $8.99 because Fanatics decided that they were the only ones that got these cars for this weekend. Four and up, Gold Series, Action Race Collectibles, still the choice champions. All the licensing, new Lionel Racing logo, RCCA Elite. And that these were handcrafted in China. And then we also have that this is a limited edition collectible. You can see my phone reflecting there. Denny Hamlin, 11 FedEx Express, 2017 camera. Now again, if you, I went into the actual, like, what I thought of the mold and the whole idea that Lionel kind of dropped the ball, but Toyota also dropped the ball and just, it was a mess trying to get these Camrys out. Um, now we're finally getting them halfway through August, and we're already, what, two-thirds of the way through the season, so it's kind of ridiculous. But we make do with what we have. So this is the FedEx Express car. Um, Hamlin also drives... So pretty much what they FedEx decided to do this year is they're going to use the same paint scheme. Um, you can kind of just go around it real quick. They're going to use the same paint scheme. And there's a huge paint chip on there um, on the Express, which is really disappointing. They're going to use the same paint scheme for the entire season. And the only thing they're going to change is this little express word. I don't know why I thought it could focus on my thumb. Uh, they just change it between office, ground, and what is the... I don't know what the other one is. Um, but it's instead of, like, in years past where they had all the different, like, colors of those different brands, they're just going to keep it simple and just leave the word FedEx on the hood. Which, honestly, I'm, not, I'm a fan of. Because now there aren't four Denny Hamlin cars with the same paint scheme, just different colors lying around. But I could see why, as a Denny Hamlin fan, you are ecstatic. I would also like to mention, I didn't mention it in the Kyle Busch video, but these cars are also at the Fanatics trailers. They have these in 124. Um, they have this one in 124, and they also had that other Kyle Busch one in 124. Forgot to mention it. So let's go over the car. You got the new Toyota front end, which is really the only change to it. Again, I went over kind of the details of it um, in that other video of the mold being different. FedEx, no monster banner. Contingencies on the left. The new NASCAR race car sticker. Number 11. Freightliner, Mac Tools, Sherwin-Williams, and Doosan, I think it's called. Ah. We survived that one, boys. FedEx Express, Coca-Cola, Toyota on the B post, and his signature there on the A pillar. And then 11 and FedEx Express on the roof. FedEx, FedEx, Toyota, and Camry. Probably pull it up in the light some more so you can see it a little better. Focus. There you go. A little better. And the 11 on the right there. And then this side is the same, except that there's the huge scratch there. Also, like to notice um, the new styling of the decal, the new Toyota, the new Toyota Camry. When Toyota designed the Camry, they designed it to be a race car before they designed the actual street car, and they went over this in their huge presentation at the auto show in January, the North, the Detroit Auto Show. Um. So yeah, I thought that was. I think this one's a pretty cool car. I mean, I think you got to get it if you like collecting. I don't. I look, I think the Toyota's the Toyota looks cool. Um, and then also if you looked if you saw the Camaro that came out this past week for next season, I think Chevrolet had to take took a lot of styling tips, at least for the way the race car is from Toyota. Because if you look, Toyota kind of angles down more than the other Cup cars, and the way the front end is, it kind of streamlines the air around the car with all the different like inlets and molding into the front. Um, so I think that helps them on track. Um, arrow wise um, but then again Gibbs had done has not done very good up until about July so I mean I'm trying to hold back a sneeze 
Oh, also Hamlet on the rear banner. No, they put the names there. So at least all the Toy all at least all the Toyotas will be correct with the decaling. But I feel like that that's where Toyota has a little bit of an advantage is the way that the air moves around the car. Um, and the diecast really captures that. And I'm really this mold is very good. Um, wish they could have got this out quicker, but it's whatever, really. Um, I would get this one if you like collecting them, like I do. Like I do. It's kind of blurry, but you can see that there's a bunch of cars down there. Um, or for stop motions, obviously you're going to get this, because you need a Denny Hamlin car for this year. And I really like the purple paint scheme, the, the purple that they use now. Anyways, Race Car Boy 93, I'm going to sign out on this diecast review on the 2017 Denny Hamlin FedEx Express car, and I will see you in the next diecast review. Thank you for watching.